Morning folks, welcome back. So I thought I'd do an update on the boat decking. Uh, we've been away fishing for two weeks. The, the, the decking's been installed now for uh, nearly three months and I've been out fishing quite a bit. It's got a bit grubby and that and I'm, overall I'm still pleased with it. Uh, well, at the moment, um, like I say, we've just been fishing up to Onslow in Western Australia for two weeks and obviously had, we haven't really had any opportunities to clean the deck so it's just pretty much all the blood and guts has baked onto it and this is i come home last night so i'm going to give the boat a good clean up today and uh, see how it comes out but i'll just show you the deck so as you can see it's pretty shitty it's got all blood and i've washed as much blood off as i could when we when we like caught fish in that but obviously some of it got missed and in the end you know the sun baked it on and i couldn't get it off but <clears throat> you can see the difference there where we've sort of been walking up and down with the red dirt from up north and and bits of fish and whatever but if you look there that's obviously hasn't been touched and it's still pretty good uh overall i'm i'm still really impressed none of it's come up yet it's really nice to walk on with your feet um it's easy to sweep the majority of it off certainly better than carpet because carpet would have just soaked in and then baked in you wouldn't know it was there but it, you'd certainly smell it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a wash off and see how we go another thing that happened which is annoying we got two cats and when the canopy's on the cats have got a habit of coming inside the boat to blooming sleep or whatever they do but there's a couple of areas i don't know whether you can see just down here where the little sods I've used it as a claw I mean, stretching mat and there's a few little puncher holes in certain places just there you can't really see them to be fair I think they've because the foam's like been compressed and it's gradually opened back out again and it's covered them up but none of it's lifted up anywhere um, what was the other thing oh there's a couple of areas like just here you can see my pencil mark where I actually mark the foam to and it's just shrunk back a bit I don't know why yeah, but it hasn't lifted it up you can see it's still tight to the boat so yeah apart from that depending on how it turns out I'm still really impressed with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the jet washer out and give it a good old clean up and then we'll come back and we'll see how it looks okay so We've given it a good old clean. Uh, I've tried numerous things. I started off with, um, I looked on the internet just to see what people recommend for cleaning sea deck. Um, I started off with just mild detergent, washing up liquid and warm water, gave that a scrub. <clears throat> I tried jet, jet washing it and it started cleaning it, but loads of them stubborn stains were a nightmare. It's my own fault, I should have, should have cleaned it every time I went fishing, but we sort of left it. There weren't any cleaning facilities there as such. I did wash the blood off the deck whenever there was any on there, but obviously some still, still stayed on. So yeah, we tried the dish detergent first. And that done a little bit, but not too much. Then I tried some barbecue, <laughs> barbecue cleaner, because they said degreaser, try degreaser. So I tried barbecue cleaner. That done it a bit, that cleaned it up quite well. Um, what did I do next? Oh, I tried some um, some hull cleaner. Um, can't remember the make of it. That done a bit as well. Everything done a little bit, but not enough. And so eventually I resorted to um, last gas, which was um, <clears throat> one gallon of water mixed with one cup of bleach. And then I just put it on bit by bit and just used a, a medium scrubbing brush to scrub out it and that's probably done the best so <clears throat> if you have a look I think it's come up pretty clean I reckon a couple of more good scrubs and it'll bring it back immaculate there's still a little bit of stain in there but it's like I say it's it's coming off with a bit of elbow grease and I'm quite pleased with it to be honest nothing's lifted up so the only problems, real problems that I've had with it since installing it, whether it's my fault, I don't know, or whether it's actually the material, but if you see there on the, um, on the hatch there, 
you see where it's come away a little bit there's a little bit of a gap when I put that on that was butted up tight so it shrunk a little bit and also here again it shrunk a little bit not a huge amount but it doesn't look exactly parallel like it did when I installed it as far as the rest is concerned none of it's come up well put it this way if I if I was to do it again I'd install the same stuff because it's like it took a beat in this last week last 11 days fishing we haven't cleaned it or anything and it's been sunny up there and the sun's literally baked on everything and considering how cheap it was I think it's come up pretty well I'm happy with it anyway obviously when you when you're fishing up where I go which is up the northwest of Australia you've got the red dirt and that stuff stains everything people get it on their cars and it's a bugger to clean off so it's, like I say there's still some little bits of stain in there probably that's where the area's had the most traffic obviously I've been standing here fishing and Stephen's been fishing over there and that's come up pretty clean but overall I'm, I'm impressed with it and if it had been carpet it would have had the same problem all the blood and guts would have just soaked into the carpet and it may have looked clean but I can guarantee you there'd have been grime underneath it in, in the fibres and everything and it'd stink and this stuff we don't get that problem and it's so soft on your feet so would I recommend it yeah definitely would I recommend getting it installed by a company maybe it maybe have a bit more stain resistance if you bought it from a seed it company or proper installation but then again you're paying for it like I said it's it was a thousand dollars a square meter I'm not paying that and I'm glad I never because like I said the cats have got in here and they've had their little scratching you can see just there where the little buggers have been sharpening their claws on it there there but like I say for the sake of $250 which is probably the initial how much I paid for the installation doing it myself definitely worth it and like I said if it lasts me two years or even lasts me a year I'd happily do it again I'm happy with that anyway let us know what you think in the comments subscribe to my channel as usual hit the like button tell us what you think whether you'd do it on your boat or um, whether you'd go for the more expensive sea deck and uh, we've got a video coming up soon of our trip to Onslow be, be sure to subscribe so you can watch that video and I'll see you out on the water